Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sketch Monkey here. Today we're having a look at this. This is the new 2023 BMW 3 Series. Thanks to Winslow BMW here in Colorado Springs for letting me have a look at this facelift. I can't wait to talk about the front end design of this. What's different from the previous generation? The side, the rear, the interior, and then we're gonna take it for a drive. Couple of things in the front end that's obviously different from the previous generation. This headlight looks so much cleaner now because we don't have this cut in the middle and this weird line that went into the bumper on the preface of the previous generation 3 series. And we also have this big chamfer right here with a nice clean surface. And of course the blacked out graphics that comes with the shadow line in the grille, in the center and on the sides here as well. I love that in contrast with this mineral white color. I think it really pops. The vents here are closed now, so it kind of looks like a fake grille. But the thing is, these are active slots in here and they open up when this little BMW needs to breathe a little better. These open up and they also open up down here at the bottom. Let's have a look at these internal pieces of these new headlights. I really like what BMW is doing. This is bringing back memories to those old angel eyes BMW circular headlights that we have or daytime running lights that we have in the E46, the E39 and so on. Now we have the big strip being on the top part instead of having it be down at the bottom, similar to what they did with the new BMW X5, which I just reviewed here as well. With this new, a little bit, maybe a little bit more static feeling in the headlights, but I think overall it looks really good. Now, as I said, I think it looks great, this front end, but that doesn't mean that there are some things that I would like to change here on the, uh, on the front end of the new 3 Series. For example, you see this body line here, this body line of body color. I think this is just too thin. It doesn't give it enough space to breathe. And if we look at this part here, the only functionality that this big black piece of gloss black is doing is housing the, uh, the parking sensors here, sensors here. So what I would like to do here is to make this thicker, this white line, have them extend a little further down to give it a little bit more breathing room. Now it feels like it's cramped in here underneath the big kidneys going into the grill. And that also means that I would like to extend this line, kind of have it go a little bit lower. So we raise this line up, this chamfer, to be connected with the corner, which is now gonna sit a little lower if we lower the entire front fascia right in this section. I think a detail like that is gonna make it uh, more separated from the ha top half of the graphics of the front end to the lower half and create a clear distinction between the two. Looking at the side view of the new BMW 3 Series, does it still have the really good proportions that BMW 3 Series always had? The best one, in my opinion, being the E46. And looking at the proportions of this thing, I really think it still has it going on perfectly with the proportions. You have almost like a double action shoulder line here. You have one shoulder starting at the very corner of the taillight, which I like going in to the rear door handles and then fades completely as we go into the front, uh, to, to the driver uh, door. But then we have this other shoulder that goes super sharp all across in to the C-pillar where it fades in this area. And yes, we do have, I guess, a version of the Hofmeister kink. It looks a little less dynamic here because the corner is right in the middle. So it doesn't feel like it has a lot of dynamics to it, but that kind of works with the uh, graphics that we have overall in this car. You have a 19 inch M wheels, M branded wheels, and the brakes are M branded as well. One specific line here in the body that I want to talk about that kind of bothers me just a little bit is this line here. It looks beautiful going all the way back here. But if we move forward to this point right here, something is happening with this line. I don't think it should be pointing backwards. What I want to do is have this go up and point forward, similar to what we have in the, I think a couple of generations ago on the 7 series. I think that just looks great. Now, this looks interesting. It has the opposite angle as the graphics that we have in the front end, if you look at this from a straight side view. But I do love the red M calipers that we have on this specific M package and the extended shadow line trim. You have the black housing for the mirrors right here. You have the black housing going all around the greenhouse. It just looks beautiful to not have any chrome in combination with this mineral white color. Listen, I know not a lot of people are going to talk specifically about side skirt of different brands, but I'm going to do that in this case. I think they did a fantastic job on the 2024 X5 with the side skirts at the bottom. Same thing here. Just have a look at how sharp 
this line is, specifically when the sun is coming down from the top, really plants the car in a nice way with this protrude, protruding uh, side skirt that we have down here at the bottom along the wheelbase. Now coming around to the back end of the new 3 Series, what I love is just how clean these taillights are. Super nice and crisp, but still have this 3D effect sticking out from the bodywork itself. One detail in the back that I'm gonna have to change if I were to get this car. 330i, you see this chrome that we have here? This is the only chrome that's on the entire car. I don't think, yeah, we do have some X-Drive badge on the other side. I would remove the X-Drive badge. I would probably make, remove this too. I think it would just delete it completely or maybe make it black, but probably delete it. We do have the extended the shadow line package, which means that this lip spoiler up here is now black instead of body colored, looking super nice. Kind of reminds me of the old E46 M3 lip at the back. Another part that's part of the extended shadow line is that you get the black tips instead of chrome. And this is one reason alone that I would go for the extended uh, shadow line package. You have the black tips and you have the black grille in the front end. One thing that I would like to re redesign here are these things here sticking up too far. They're eating too much of the bumper. I want to cut them maybe in this part here, have them be a little shorter and have more of a proper bumper in the rear end. But other than that, the lines in this design looks very beautiful. This specific sloping tailgate that we have that kind of goes outwards a little bit, adds to a very sharp end point of this design. You have a nice line going in here in the bumper as well. And you have a pretty stylistic or stylized diffuser here. I'm not sure if this is very functional with these fins down here, but at least it looks cool and this gloss black has the same kind of texture or finish like we have in the front end design. Overall guys, I think this is actually the best view in this case as with many other cars is the three quarter rear view of this car. Even though these uh, graphic details here, I just want to have them a little bit shorter. But other than that, it's a super clean and I think a great design by BMW specifically from this three quarter rear view. Welcome to the interior of the 2023 BMW 3 Series. The biggest change you're gonna see here is obviously this new dash that we talked so much about in the videos here on the channel. I do kind of, it's starting to grow on me this interior and it, it doesn't bother me as much when I'm driving it because actually it works really well with the positioning of the 12.3 inch gauge cluster and the 14.9 inch infotainment screen that we have here. Still same problem though here. We have this mounting bracket in the back that I think BMW could have hid in a much better way and integrated this in a much better way generally in the interior. But we, I do like this wood trim that we have here. It's kind of a glossy wood with this aluminum strip going all the way here. We do have some more functional vents I would say or easy to understand vents than we had in the BMW X5 with those weird knobs here. There's right here underneath the screen and I kind of prefer for this layout better than we had in the X5. Down here we have two cup holders of course with the wireless charging. We have the same USB slot as in the X5 and the 12 volt as well. We don't get a crystal for our gear selector here this time. We do have that in the X5 but not in the 3 series. I'm not sure which one I prefer. This kind of looks a little more classy where you have a LED strip that, lits, uh, that lights this up at night so it's easy to find and then you just pull this back or forward and select whatever gear you want or you press the P for park. It feels very tight in here. It feels proper 3 series in my opinion. I remember this feeling, that I still had the same feeling in the E46 3 series way back 15-20 years ago. It feels very tight and I feel like I'm part of the machine when I'm sitting in here. I'm sitting very low and it feels like everything is just building around you. These vents on the side also very functional. We have one knob again for the volume control. That's the only knob you get. You have this big knob right here or dial for the uh, infotainment screen so you can choose to either have it use the touch screen like this or you can use this dial if you're driving for example and want to change th things really quick without using the touch uh, screen. I think this is a good idea to have both the touch and this physical knob. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use. A proper glove box here as you can see and the steering wheel. We need to talk about this gorgeous steering wheel right here with the paddles on each side. Super small. It feels nimble and it feels like a steering wheel that you just want to grip and go do some sporty driving with. You have the M logo down here because this has of course the M package. You have your driver modes right here. Sport, 
Comfort or Echo Pro, changes the gauge clusters and changes the graphic layout up there. And you have a pretty decent storage right here in the center console with a USB-C port. These seats in this mocha finish looks absolutely fantastic. I've said before that I like toned down interiors. Not necessarily black, this actually works for me too, having this in this very dark chocolate brown leather with the nice stitching and the contrast. I think this is like gray stitching in here, looking super nice. You don't get a panoramic sunroof here, you do get a pretty decent size though that stretches further back than the headrests up there, but I'm gonna keep this closed for now. And up front, right in front of me, right where my eyes are looking when I'm driving, we have a nice head-up display that looks exactly like the same one we have in the X5. Super nice, very easy to read, doesn't have a lot of information, only the necessary information like the speed and the speed limit, for example. But you know what? The car is already fired up, so let's hear what this engine of the new 2024 330 sounds like. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're taking the BMW to 2023 BMW 330i X Drive for a drive. That's what you do in BMWs. You take them for a drive. I'm having it in sport right now and it's in manual. I love the shift lights that we have. The thing about BMWs what they do so well in every single car that they have is just the driving feeling of it. The uh, uh, dynamics of the driving itself, it still feels like a very planted car. <laughs> it's very fun to drive. 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque from an inline four that is turbocharged. And you have the, of course, the X-Drive, meaning that you have all-wheel drive which is something that I would definitely recommend having in Colorado. Something that I would probably have in most cars I own here. I love the shift lights that we have as well. It just feels super tight. I love this steering wheel. It's nice, small, nimble, fat like we want in a 3 Series. The steering feels a little heavier than in the X5, which I also like because this is supposed to be a bit of a sportier car than the X5. MSRP for this specific one that we have here with the M package, the extended shadow line, is about $56,000. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit here. It definitely goes for 255 horsepower. I really like the power delivery. And this is a car that you definitely want to have in my opinion, with, in the manual with this eight-speed ZF gearbox. It's, it, it definitely feels like the, the, the gears are, are very different when you have them in manual compared to when you have it in automatic. And I also have it, as I said, in, in full sport now. sound again being pumped in artificially into the cabin a lot of people have some issues with that I personally don't I think it just adds to the driving experience these days because we got to have specifically in Europe as I've said before you have a lot of regulations there now that needs the new AMGs they need to be a lot quieter so what do you do if you're a driving enthusiast you want to hear the noise you can it, it, it's, it's okay to pump in sound of that noise into the cabin we're in first gear I'm gonna floor it and just see what happens I really, really like the shift lights. They're right there in a bright color. So even if I'm looking ahead, and I can, of course, listen to the engine, but if I want a visual reference for it, the shift lights are right there in a bright color, so I don't need to look down to see when it's time to shift. Very nice little detail. So does the 3 Series still have that magic of being a pretty affordable but very sporty sedan? I think it does in this new 2023 model. Thanks again, huge thanks to Winslow BMW here in Colorado Springs for letting me review this car. They have, I'm looking at an XM right now, they have an iX over there, an X6M, they have a bunch of cool cars here. So make sure if you're in the market for a new BMW here in Colorado, make sure you check out Winslow BMW in Colorado Springs. Thanks again for watching and I appreciate you. If you enjoy these type of videos, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.